when we go for, for demonstrations, the economy is affected. You know, when His Excellency, Mr. President, fails to acknowledge and fulfill his promises, the people are suffering. Baba acha kutupima. Change strategy. Ruto, wacha kuhustle mahasla. Usituchoche. Tunawajua. We know you guys. You know, religion has been commercialized. It's all about money. We've, today, we've witnessed people fighting. The other day, the SDA were fighting themselves. You know, we've witnessed churches. Look at Pastanga. Pastor Nganga. Look at what these guys are doing. I'm not criticizing them. If they're doing business, willing buyer, willing sellers, whoever is buying their gospel is a willing buyer. Shida si governor, shida ni policies, shida mafisi kutawala ma offices, ah, shida si media, shida ni content. <laughs> what up, what up? My name is Suguvudu, Omwana wa Mulungu. My real name is Alphonse Rama. I'm a rap artist and also a philanthropist. I'm a leader, a poet, a writer. I'm so many things, a businessman at the same time, a family man, a father, a husband. An uncle. <laughs> I'm a lot of things. Okay. Thank you so much, Sugu, for allowing us to come and have an, this interview yes. with you. It's a pleasure. It's very great. The first time I got to interact with your content was, yes. I can't remember the exact month or year, but I think it was between 2016 and 2015. Yeah. By then, you were doing uh, freestyles with the likes of uh, Anto. Yeah. Uh, nuclear, nuclear. Uh, zero sufuri, zero sufuri yeah. morocco morocco the late um, the Kadule. late Mukadule. i remember producer of Guarguana was yeah. also there i remember yeah uh, that time we were doing a project we were working together with uh select adeno mm -hmm. under his uh company jam down shufflers whereby he was uh doing more of talent search he was trying to reach out to artists and also get to give artists a platform whereby they can be visible mm -hmm. on media you know and uh, i remember that time most of us were so much addicted into drugs and stuff like that you know and way back then most of us were also in crime and at that time but mm -hmm. let's say through that platform today we are doing something different we are changing the community we are changing lives through music and of course charity programs also before we get deep into the conversation yes do you still connect with the guys that we've mentioned well uh, i was with zero sufuri yesterday i, I guess we'll be together also today uh nuclear uh until the bantula is the one whom we've not seen each other for a while uh because he's, he's not been feeling well he has he has, uh, the last time I checked, I was told he has foot cancer or something like that. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, Morocco, we were together when, uh, three months ago, no, two months ago, when I was doing my Daughters of Pain video in Kibera. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Obuarbuana, we spoke last last night. Is my producer definitely? We we were always we were always in touch. Mm. Yeah. S Selector Deno, do you guys still Selector connect? Deno, we, are, we, are, we are still together, but he's quite busy because most of the time he's traveling with between Kenya and Qatar, sometimes Dubai, and he's running his DJ academy. The company has really grown, and that is a good thing. So, but we we still talk. We still talk on on Facebook, on WhatsApp. Sometimes we even make calls. Yeah. Of, of the people that we've mentioned, it is unfortunate that we lost Mukadule. What was your relationship with him and actually what really caused his death? Well, uh, first of all, may his soul rest in peace. He's one of the best artists that I've ever met and mingled with. Uh, Mukadule, my relationship with Mukadule, I knew Mukadule when he was still very young, when he was still in Form 1, Form 1, Form 2. I was his mentor. I even wrote his first song. Uh, called Julieta. Uh, and it is so unfortunate that we had to lose such a great talent just at a very young age. Uh, the cause of his death was accident, road accident. Mkadule was uh, a tout. Uh, the way we call it, Ukumtani Tunaita Kamagera. So apparently he had been, uh, he hadn't slept. Then he, uh, when he was trying to how can I? Say? He was trying to hang on, on on the matatu thing. Yeah, he slipped. 
and then boom that was it very unfortunate yeah yeah very unfortunate so you've spoken about being in crime before you joined music yes what informed your transition from crime to being reformed and now getting into music well my biggest transition was when i got my daughter you know uh i had to start seeing life differently now it wasn't about me alone it was about now another life you know and also seeing most of my friends perishing uh, and also i was threatened um, i almost lost my life you know uh, unajua some some baptism zinakwaga by fire <laughs> some baptism ni by fire so i i i i i, I went into exile Mm -hmm. after i'd gotten my daughter and then uh i think just from there things started changing but again af after many years again mm -hmm. i due to uh how will i call it i won't say poverty but mm -hmm. i will say due to lack of opportunities i won't i don't know how to it's not an excuse though mm -hmm. i went back and committed another offense and then i got locked again but i thank god now i'm a free man and uh I'm doing music to change my society and also to inspire the next generation and the generation that is currently existing like wanajitanga uh, you know I have a lot of fans uh, who are young very mm. vigilant some of them very arrogant most of them uncivilized though educated mm. but they're still my friends you know like they're still my friends you know and uh, most of them are into crime and drugs. Yeah. So what do you think should be done in order to ensure that we lift the young Kenyans from crime into some productive work? Well, that is a very good question, you know. Uh the easiest and the best way to lift young guys from crime into uh, employment opportunity or skill work first of all is to understand them you know to understand them you know things have changed we are living in a different era you know it's it is a computer era this is not the era of uh, our grandparents you know we have smartphones we have all these things things are things are digital you know mm -hmm. so uh, this and this digi digital platform has grown with these young guys you know mm -hmm. so things have changed and their reasoning is very different from the reasoning of our grandparents and even our parents you know so first of all as parents we need to come down and understand these young guys then from there once we've understood them we will know what what they they are capable of doing you know what skill do they require you know and also the government the government bwana rais kama unasikiza hii aswa sana deputy president mr gashagwa honorable uh you guys need to fund art you know because juakali is an art sector that mm. has even been forgotten mm. you know the tin smithing the paintings you know these are things that can give young guys uh employment opportunities because most of them are not ed well educated or properly educated mm. you know or most of them are school dropout or most of them have grew up in families that are very poor that they never got the chance to go through school but if well equipped with skills like for instance the jua kali thing the tin smith thing you know the, the uh, painting carving wood carving you know there's a lot of opportunities but the government your honorable hapo munaanguka sakaja you also should play a part you are an artist you should also play a part in fact my mp dagoreti south honorable john kj kiari you're also an artist but you guys have failed the artist fraternity you're not supporting art in any way you're focused on politics and of course business which is not bad but also take time mkitoa tu hata bilioni kama mnaweza toa bilioni mbili za mira mbona msitoe hata bilioni moja sana so looking at your works most of them are one that are advocating for social change yes why did you decide to venture into that line of music well one i must say i'm a poet and as a poet 
my writing comes from inspiration and my inspiration is what I see. I cannot write about rolling with ranges and all that stuff, you know, dressed in Gucci, Gavana, Fendi or, or, or Prada or whatever. Yet I come from the slum. I come from the ghetto. I come from the struggle. This is a jungle. You know, what I see every day, I cannot smile about that. There's nothing to smile about. You know, I speak what I see. I write what I see because that is what I'm going through. That is what my people are going through. We need, we need to, we need freedom, you know. We need freedom and freedom, all be, it all starts with the mind. Yeah. What would you say is the impact of your work on the youth that listen to your work? Well, I have, uh, I remember when I did a, a, a freestyle called Boys on Quaro, I was approached with a, a group of young guys huh? yeah. who, uh, who were into pickpocketing. We call it smanku, you know. Mm -hmm. And they confessed. In fact, one of them cried and told me like, this song is about him, you know. And I was just doing freestyle. Mm -hmm. And do you know, they are no longer pickpocketing. You know, yeah. In fact, through the help of my friends, I've uh, been able to empower up to six youth right now mm -hmm. doing shoe business. Uh, five women, single mothers. Uh, we've built kibandas for them, you know, because uh, uh, I make money out of my art. Yeah. In what way? I sell my merchandise, my T-shirts, my woodies, you know. Uh, I have uh, goblets, water bottles, you know, wristbands. So when I make sales, I take a percentage of that and then give it back to the community to empower and bring real difference, you know. I don't want to preach water and drink wine, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be like those other artists, big artists that I see on TV every day that stand up saying they are advocating for people and yet they are driving very big cars, dressed in very expensive clothes, drinking very expensive alcohol, you know, partying every day. You know, I'm not that type. I don't do music for the niggas in the club drinking. I do my music for the niggas in the house thinking. So uh, I want to know the inspiration behind uh, these uh, four music that you wrote. One is Shida, yes. which is one of my favorite. Thank you. There's Kamba Kwa Shingo. Thank you. Uh, Tunakam, which is a, colla a, a collaboration. collaboration. Yeah. Yeah, man. And then System Haram. Oh, well, uh, let's start with Shida. Yeah. Uh, when I was, uh, I wrote Shida when I came, the first week when I came out of prison. That is when I wrote Shida. Mm -hmm. Because I realized uh, the, the main focus for Shida was uh, a friend of mine, uh, a, fr a friend of mine, we were discussing something with a friend. Then the friend, uh, that friend of mine said, Unajua Shida si watu, Shida ni njaa. Njaa ndi nafanya watu wanafanya vitu mingi. So I, I started visualizing that, you know. And I realized it is very, very true. Shida is not the people. Mm -hmm. Shida is what the, it's what the people are going through. It's hunger, you know. And anyone who is angry is very dangerous, you know. Anyone who is angry is is a, is a is, is, is how, how do we call it? It's a desperate person, mm -hmm. and a desperate person is very dangerous. Do you know when you're angry, you can even eat your own flesh. Mm -hmm. You know, it's true. You can even eat your own flesh. Mm. So it is anger that is turning people into crime, into becoming, into prostitution, you know, into, into, into human trafficking, you know. All this are caused by one thing, hunger. You know, just like the Bible says, uh, the ways to a man's heart is through the stomach. So if the Bible can acknowledge that, then it means hunger is a very serious issue. Mm. And you can even see today uh, in our country, Kenya, you can see we people are rioting, you know, the demonstration. Why are they demonstrating? Punguza Beyaunga. I spoke about that in my track called uh, uh, Slave Ship, you know, where I say, Maisha Panda Shuka, Pandangazi Ali Shuka, Beyaunga, Ikipanda, Misidani, Kaita Shuka, you know. So it's mm. the truth. They take us to a protest and kill us in the process. This is the voices of the innocent. We need the Moses, not bosses, to reconnect. I go green, Kiwangare, Madai. You know, it's the truth. 
They take us to a protest, they kill us in the process. All this happens because of hunger. And that is the purpose for Shida. That is why I wrote the song Shida. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Kamba Kwa Shingo. Uh, I wrote Kamba Kwa Shingo. I was very depressed when I was writing Kamba Kwa Shingo. Mm. I, was, I was between a rock, you know, and a wall. Things were really tough for me. I had no source of income. I had a family to feed, you know. Uh, at that time, I was so much into drugs, you know. I didn't have hope. I didn't have hope at all. That's why I wrote Kamba Kwa Shingo. And you can even tell by the intro. Dania Ghetto na Kamba Kwa Shingo, you know. I'm inside, like, I'm locked in a cocoon. The, the slum, the ghetto, is, I was, I, that is what I was feeling. I was feeling so much pressure, mm -hmm. you know. So, so much pressure. You know, and that's why I was saying form C form be like Kitu Kwatumbo, you know, because it's the pressure that I was feeling like there's nothing. People were giving me praises at that time because uh, they were like, oh, Sugu, you're doing good music and all that stuff. But then at the end of the day, I go back to my house empty handed, you know, stuff like that, trying to look for employment opportunities because personally, I'm, I'm not a graduate. No. I'm, a, I'm a high school dropout. I dropped out school in form two, you know, due to lack of school fees. Uh, so getting employment opportunities is a very hard thing. And that's why you see me using my music to help other people and to voice, because I believe I'm the voice of the voiceless, you know. I want to voice the voices of these people, people like me. Pe I don't want any anyone else to go through what I went through, you know. I want to make a difference so that we can make the world a better place. And to do that, I need you, I need everyone. We need each other, mm. you know. And mine is through music. Uh, you've also asked about uh, System Yaram. System Yaram. Mm. System Yaram, actually, uh, System Yaram is. Uh, I wrote this song uh, when I saw uh, what was happening in the nation uh, during the transition uh, from, uh, from uh, Uru to. Ruto. Ruto. That, is, that was my inspiration, you know. And uh, the, the, the slogan, Hustlers Nation, which is not really Hustlers, is the Hustlers hustling the Hustlers, you know. Uh, I wrote that too, because you, you can tell what I'm saying. Come walk a mile in my shoe and feel the pain of my feet, you know. The system robbed me the truth, you know. They gave me shackles and chains instead of giving me schools. They gave me rifles and boots, you know. That is what the system has done people in the slum you know if you've lived in the slum mm. you will understand what what i'm trying to say it's not easy i know people out there are always like ah vijana nikutaka wanataka they are lazy they are idle wanapenda madre it's never like that come walk a mile in those people's shoes you know kama ujai chomeka hawezi jo uchungu kuchomeka just like if you're a woman and you've never given birth you will not understand the the process the pain the challenges that comes with it mm. you know that's why when I say mango chungu wa mwana ujuai ni ma mama. mama yeah and then there's uh, tunakam kukam oh tunakam tu, tunakam kukam was a collaboration between me sazo me sazo uh RIP the late mkadule uh uh how am, why am I forgetting the, his name uh, and uh, Gish and producer Frank Fake. Yeah. Uh, it was a collaboration of two studios, two recording studios, and uh, four artists. You know, mm. uh, the, the the idea came through uh, Fake, mm. uh, the owner of uh, Boma Records. So he brought all of us together. Actually, we have another song together. Together that is yet to be released. Uh, it's called Mboka. It's mm -hmm. about business. Mm. It's about business. Actually, it's, I think it's going to go. It's, 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 it's a big one because we're, we, we've, it's totally business. We're totally teaching guys how to do business through now music. Mm -hmm. We are advising people. This is how you should save. This is what you should make. This is how you do. This is what you, this is how you make profit, you know, and stuff like that. In, in your work as a musician, yeah, man. it's always uh, everybody's hope that one day they will break even and ensure that music pays for the work that they have put in. One of the guys that made that is uh, Zero. Yeah, man. Since he was elevated to the national uh, platform in terms of music, yeah, man. 
what projects do you have together or what kind of conversations do you have well uh i, I must say this one i'm in my community mm -hmm. i'm a mentor you know so i've mentored and nurtured most of the talents here including zero and uh, i remember even a few days ago when three four days ago he was telling me that I've, um, i'm no longer he was feeling like we are no longer close so he was telling me no you uh, sometimes i need your advice i call you you don't pick up stuff like that you know mm -hmm. so uh we've not done any projects together but we talk we talk you know mm -hmm. we talk uh and people should not also mistake fame and money mm -hmm. you know he's still struggling yes he makes his daily bread but he's still struggling you know he, most of the money he gets is are from the events mm. you know but he's still struggling in that is something I, I i i can tell you you know to make it to break it in to become famous and uh to become wealthy or rich are two different things yeah you can be famous and poor true you know that and you can be very infamous and very wealthy or rich so it all depends that is why where where business comes in as an artist i'm as i said during my introduction i'm a, i'm a businessman you know so being a businessman i get to see i know how i make my money you know that is why i came up with merchandisation you know mm. stuff like that you know and i realized how will i sell my merchandise around the around the world around the globe i said in order for me to reach out the globe i must give people a reason to buy my products and that reason is my community my people the difference i'm doing here so when you buy my product you've not just supported me you've supported a whole community mm. you know and these are some some of the things i've also been sharing with artists uh I, some of them take take it seriously some of them don't uh, those of them that take it se seriously are getting to are getting to places like uh jublak I don't mm. know whether you've heard of him. Yeah, Jubilee. I know I know Jubilee him. Like he's also actor. an actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. You he is is in the the recent hip hop movie Bzuka also. He's been featured there. Mm. He's one of the guys that I really really respect because what he's doing is doing business. He's learned, you know, we we started together this this stuff, but he's he's been listening to what I'm telling him and he's also telling me advising me on some things. So mm. we do business and uh one of the people who's also been mentoring me in terms of business is a friend of mine. Uh, a brother and a uh, and and a colleague in the industry is called Rich Liano is from New York mm. and him and his father have really been mentoring me for, for quite some time now for quite some time they've been teaching me how to do business and how to turn my music into business and also been supporting me with my community projects so yeah. we'll talk about Rich Liano later because there's a project that you did with him recently yes so before we get into into that you yes. have a uh, can i call it a project or initiative well, an in initiative yes. zuia noma zuia noma yeah. of which you also did uh, some music together with oga obina yes who reached out to one uh, to another so that you can make that music awesome 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 oga obina is my friend from way 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 back to mm. kiwa national theater to kifanya set books mm. uh we've been talking we've been talking but uh, we hadn't done anything together because uh kusema tu kweli levels we all understand kuna levels no yeah. elewa yeah. uh kuna mali mtu akishafika uh, kuna watu wengine kidogo mm. unalenga marafiki wengine kwa wakati mwingine you know mm. so i personally shared the song with him i did the song the, the original song was on yeah. my I, i did it on my own it was a solo yeah. uh but then uh when i shared it with him he was interested and he asked me why can't we redo this song together then i will fund the video mm. and i was like why not mm. it's a good idea and especially now now that you're a radio presenter this is a good idea and boom it happened but it's funny that ever since then we've not talked what I what could be the reason i always try reaching out to him but mm. boom, blue tick celebrity unajua that's unfortunate uh, line, unajua mm. uh, that's why i've said levels no no uh, levels because we had plans we had uh, we had very good plans i even wrote a proposal mm. on zuia noma we had very very good plans with him we were to run this initiative together but i guess uh, though the way things are right now 
ni inakuwaga ni either let's meet at the top or at the bank because hakuna mtu atakufuata hapa at the bottom mm. yeah so for the benefit of the viewer what is zuia noma all about well zuia noma beside the song mm. zuia noma is an initiative that focuses on reducing poverty mm. illiteracy and diseases mm -hmm. in the community by working together with the community itself mm -hmm. through Sugu Vudu as mm -hmm. an artist and a musician. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So uh, other than that you have also collaborated with the can I say is, is it a collaboration or you've worked together with African Censored? Yes. In, I've, I've, uh, I've worked as, together with. Yeah. Uh, the the most popular series that I have followed all all the episodes mm -hmm. is the one called Thao. Thao. You are the one who voiced it. Yes, I voiced Thao. Um, I'm also a voice over artist. Mm. I, uh, I I didn't just voice Thao. There's this this one that everyone was seeing during uh, campaign year piece. Kenya do not want. Uh, it was sponsored by the government. Yes. This piece advertisement that was on all the channels. Mm. I also did that. I've also done uh, voiceover for GBVs uh, for the government. Yeah. Which I got peanuts. Sorry to say that. But for Thao, I personally benefited from Thao. Mm. Uh, the link uh, came through my visual producer, uh, who is also an editor, mm. who is also who is who is the one who also edited Thao, mm. John. Uh, John is the one who introduced me to Alan Namu. Mm -hmm. Initially, uh, they were looking for the script was in English, and they were looking for a voiceover artist that can turn it into Sheng and make it blend, mm -hmm. make it something uh, that the the people from the slum, because the focus was to, as I told you, to give people freedom, mm -hmm. you know, financial freedom. So we were focused on especially the youth, you know. And I must say working with John Alan Nam was an amazing experience. That is one of the most amazing person I've ever met. He's a mentor, he's a leader, he's very kind, he's very passionate about his work. I appreciate what he's doing. I appreciate what he's doing as a journalist also. Because I'm also a journalist, I'm a fixer. I do fixing. Mm. I've fixed for Deutsche Welle, I've fixed for BBC, I've fixed for some other private companies also before mm. yeah so still on thou yes since the way you voiced it yes you made your voice together with the visuals were blending and then the story came out very clearly yeah i, I would really want to know how the whole process came about were you involved in uh, the script writing as well uh uh, I wasn't involved in the script writing, but okay, let's say I was involved mm -hmm. because I was given the scripts in English. The scripts were original scripts were in English, mm -hmm. so I was supposed to translate them into Sheng, mm -hmm. rewrite the whole script. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm grateful to just like I said, Alan Namu was there to help me out. Mm -hmm. We spent a lot of time together changing changing the script, and John Gavuna, mm -hmm. the editor of Thao, and also my visual producer. Uh, we spent a lot of time together trying to. It took us it took us about a month, I think, to put up the whole to put up the, the, the whole yeah. season. Yeah. Okay. It took us because they had already they had already recorded uh, the visuals. Yes. But now the voice they did they they, they, they had already did uh, they they did the interviews they had interviewed all the people they wanted but now the voiceover it's what was missing they have their African sense and they have their own voiceover artist but. Yes. This this type of work needed a different skill, needed a different voice, you know, a voice that people can relate with. And boom, there was Sugu Vudu. <laughs> still on Thao. Yes. Don't, don't mind. I'm, I'm no still problem, no problem. because it was a big project. That's why I'm I'm dwelling on it. Yes. When you are linked up with uh, Alan Nam. Yes. Did he just pick you immediately, or what did he see in you to say that? This when is the one. He just saw me. You know what I did? Uh? Mm. I did. Uh, I did a voice, a small voice. Yeah. Uh, I recorded a small voice. I sent him to him, and he was like, "We are not changing. This is the guy. I want to see him tomorrow in the office. I want. I want him here tomorrow in the office. 
the office. Yeah. When when we met, the first thing he told me, you have an amazing voice. That is the first thing he told me before even saying hi. Mm. You you know, he's he's always very calm when he's talking. You know, he was like, you have an an amazing voice, and I was like, yeah, thank you, because mm. I've learned from people like him. You know, and I I also have dreams of becoming. One of the biggest or the best voiceover artist, or probably starting a voiceover academy. Mm. One of these good days. You've also started initiatives within the community of yes. feeding uh, yes. children. Yes. Kindly enlighten us more about it. Well, uh, it's Sugu Voodoo Feeding Program. It uh, happens every last Saturday of the month, uh, supported by volunteers and friends, and especially. Uh, Mark, Dr. Mark Resigiliano, who's been there championing for development in Africa and health, better health in Africa. Mm. Uh, I've been doing this for three years. Uh, most of the, uh, I've been doing this for three years through the support of volunteers, as I, as I said, and Dr. Mark, Mark Resigiliano, and also his son and a, and a brother to me, uh, Rich Liano. Uh, we've been we've been we've been doing this, and my brother, my my younger brother, Jacob Oguta, we've been doing this for three years, and we've seen quite a big difference because we've fed thousands and thousands of children. It mm. takes it cost us uh, around uh, sixty to seventy thousand Kenya shillings mm. to feed five hundred children every month. Mm. Sometimes I do not have the funds, so when I do not have the funds, there is where. I'm, uh, Dr. Mark comes in, you know. Mm. Uh, but most of the time is whereby uh, Nauza my t-shirt. Mm. Nauza my t-shirt, then Niki make good sales. I make good sales because I sell a t-shirt at a thousand bob. Mm. So uh, Niki calculate profit, net profit, na gross profit. At least kuna like 200 shillings mm. and as I give back kwa community. So if I am able to sell 100 t-shirts, mm. then I have 20,000 shillings ya kupeana kwa community. Community. Kwa community, you see? Mm -hmm. And then also, kuna ma well wishes. Nikipata yo 20,000, mtu mungina nilete mchele. Uh, like, uh, Kabiri ya Ekomat has also been very supportive. Mm -hmm. Wanipe unga, wanipe mchele, you know? And stuff like that. And then the community itself, the youth in the community. They are, wanakuja, they wake up at four, wananza kupika. Like, 20 of them. Mm -hmm. They wake up at four, wananza kupika. And they're not being paid anything. My wish is, if I can... Find a way when you pia vijana pia naeza kuwa na walipa pia because wana jituma sana. Because mm. probably, tutaiza sema kukweli, which is true, they are doing this because they awana kitu wa kufanya, wako idol. So they also need to be supported, you know, no? And uh, we've started uh, a small project with uh, Rich Liano. Mm. Uh, we are working with the boys, mm -hmm. the, the, the youth in the community. So far, we've uh, started shoe project with the boys. Uh, we are funding them so that they can sell shoes. And the business is doing very good. Very, very, I'm envious actually. It's doing very, very well. <laughs> mm. You know, I'm like, wow. <laughs> mm. you know, it's doing very, very well for them, you know. And they've transformed their lives because these are guys with families, you know. They've transformed their lives. So the feeding program, yeah, the feeding program, but it's open. So if there's anyone out there who's willing to support, you can reach out to to me and uh, tell me what you're willing to give. Hata kama ni manguo, kwa zingine watu wanahitaji manguo. Like uh, we did, we gave we made, we gave sh school shoes a while mm. ago. Mm. We gave school shoes to kids and uh, we gave 150 school shoes, pairs of shoes, mm. brand new butter shoes. And that was awesome. Mm. That was awesome. So we are open to Sugovudu is open. I'm a link. I believe I'm a link. Mm. If you want to, if you are looking to help any, the community out here and you don't know where to start, reach out to me. We have, I have a bigger network. I know people with needs. And every day when I walk in the community, every day I meet people telling me, oh, Sugu, I need this, oh, Sugu, that, oh, Sugu, my child is out of school, oh, Sugu, this, oh, Sugu, Sijakula, you know, stuff like that. Sometimes mimi mwenye hata nakuaga ni konja. Kila mtu usota. True. Kila mtu usota. Today you have, tomorrow you don't. You know, but my focus is on sustainability right now. Mm. That's why we are creating, we are focusing on uh, the, the, the girls, uh, the, the single mothers project. 
whereby we are building kiosk kibandas for single mm. mothers for grocery so far we've built six and the youth project and now we are we are doing an art project for the for children also with uh, modibo uh, here, here in uh, kivuli center we are we're trying to nurture skills uh we also uh, we also have a project that uh, we also have a proposal that is ready for juakali we want to start at tin smith mm. Uh, watu waweze kujenga masufuria, vikombe, masani hizi za mabati. Tunataka tufunze vijana. We want to teach the youth how to do that. Or the only thing we are lacking, we are waiting for is funding because we already have space. We have space but we do not have funds. Uh also um I'm working on now this is a I'm, I'm also doing branding, uh printing and branding mm. on my own side. I'm hoping to get more machines so that I can offer employment opportunities to many many youth out here tunataka tumalize njaa tunataka tumalize poverty mm. tunataka tumalize umaskini mm. you've mentioned modivo who is modivo modibo modibo mm. is a very close friend of mine he's like a brother he's an amazing artist a well recognized mm. artist he's done his style is very very unique and very different of course he is doing portrait to survive but that is not his style mm. His style is it's also done portraits for some of some, some some very big people especially in the government and he also does new roles you know is is a mentor to many 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 artists i cannot even mention he used to be a musician wakiwa na clemo clemo the producer na kina juakali but muziki ikakuwa mzito kidogo ukaona ngono ikakuwa light kidogo because he's been painting and drawing ever since he does not even remember but he's a very close friend of mine he's been there with me from the days where when i was in crime he's been there to witness my transformation he's, n- he's never let me down you know mm. those friends that don't let you go whether you're good or bad they stick with you and that's a real friend so uh where you're sitting at the back there's a portrait of sakaja is yes. he the one who did that portrait? yes the portrait at my back yeah that one yeah? yeah that is sakaja that is the works of modibo honorable sakaja please huyu kijana ukiweza tu mpromote umpe tu nusu milioni peke yake mm. atafunza watoto wengi sana na watu wengi sana wataendelea kwa community mm. because he's a leader please honorable wherever you are this is not expensive you can just buy it for 500,000 only and that money doesn't just go to modibo it goes back to the community mm. because he's t- using it to buy paints to train kids you know he's using it to he's also funding me in my feeding programs sometimes he, he gives his donation you know he plays his part mm. as a leader also you are one person who also takes spirituality very seriously yes what do you think is the place of religion uh politics and the society at at large in the work that you are doing well i'm whatever i'm doing i'm what i'm doing mm. is the real religion that is i'll start with that mm. you know i do not have a problem with uh, christians muslims pagans or whoever indians mm. but i believe that true gospel because all of them are trying to preach some good news mm. true gospel starts with caring and giving support to the vulnerable and the poor and that is where the churches have failed and the mosques have also failed there at least the hari krishna the temple guys at least they are doing something in fact we've worked together with them uh, currently one of um we are, we, are, we, are, we are planning to do another feeding program with uh, lavanga is one of the uh, directors at uh, uh, Hare Krishna temple mm. and uh, they are very they are very amazing guys you know and the place of religion in the society religion has truly failed mm. and Why? because religion has been commercialized it's all about money we've today we've witnessed people fighting the other day the sda were fighting themselves mm. you know we've witnessed churches look at pastanga pastanganga look at what these guys are doing i'm not criticizing them mm. if they are doing business willing buyer willing sellers whoever is buying their gospel mm. is a willing buyer and he's a willing seller so he's commercializing his work at the end of the day man got to eat you know but they are not doing gospel at all 
the religion has failed totally 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 the the, the, the church and the mosque should I'm guess in, in these are the biggest in in Kenya these are the biggest uh, recognized religions huh? uh, the church and the mosque need to go back to the roots because I believe the church and the mosque are house houses for the week mm. we go to church to seek hope mm. you know we go to the mosque to seek hope we pray because we are seeking hope you know but the churches and the mosque are gathering money from people using them the, using that money to fatten their wallets and their stomach you know oh no kuna 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 ngoma yangu fulani mimi nasema anga usconde wewe usconde mnyonge anyongwe mm. tight budget wana fatten their wallets you know that is what religion is today same goes to politics we no longer have leaders politics used to be run with leaders like martin luther king marcus garvey you know these hellas lasi these were leaders you know not politician you know leadership should come first then politics second but today it is politics then leadership you know and actually that leadership part is not even there most of most of the time you know munachagua mp leo ukishamchagua anaenda missing kenye mimi usema kwa kamba kwa shingo isha kwa common kwa ma demon kukula holy communion ndio maana maskini anazidi kuomba kwa magoti tajiri akimjibu kwa matusi na makofi you know so ni promises of 5000 jobs ndo ziliwacha 5000 youth rotting in some coffin or better yet lost in, in some toxic Nona ndio ujue kitumbua kimeingia mchanga delegate wa kosi matanga sasa hiyo waziri ako tu ulaya sipping in some coffee you know it's true that is what they've, they've turned when when people they've they've focused on their own pockets to fatten their own pockets you know hawajali wanyonge hakuna mtu anatetea wanyonge sikuizi ni kama wewe ni mnyonge au una chako kama wewe ni mnyonge una kanyagwa sana wewe usikonde mnyonge anyongwe za hii afinywe asibonge na kijibonga azimwe na makonde ama madawa na pom na pombe and that's what they're doing to the society you know it's it's so sad so sad so so sad i'm not saying all of them no no but 99.9% of them are involved in corruption and sell their own greed you know they are there to support their own family it's called, how, how do we call it i'm not very good with, with these words huh? mm. they are there to, to they are they're working for their own family they employ their brothers once they unachagua mca mca akishaingia pale anachakuchukua brother yake anatoa brother yake ushago mm. anatoa kazini yake mahali kwingine anatoa nani sasa by the time ana, tunamtoa kwa hiyo kiti ameemploy family yake yote kwa kwa government mm. wale watu ambao walimchagua wale watu ambao wako na hitaji hawajasaidika wala kufaidika kwa vyo vyote na haifai hivyo haifai that is not the way to go that is killing the nation because tukifanya hivyo what about the children behind us we are building beasts these children will terrorize us in the future you know just like uh, what elvis there is this song from uh, elvis presley elvis presley in the ghetto mm. you know where he says people don't you understand a child needs a helping hand or is going to grow up to be an angry man someday take a look at you and me are we too blind to see or we or we just simply turn the other cheek you know and that's what politicians are doing they are no longer supporting the community there's there are no community initiative no not at all not at all mheshimiwa ukisha tujengea shule tutaenda shule tusome na makazi tukose you know Mheshimiwa ukikuja upeane pesa kwa kanisa au hujasaidia mtu Mheshimiwa Mheshimiwa ukiweka game ya ball utucheze tournament moja alafu ishe hivyo au hujasaidia ase fungua academy Help these people jengea vijana studio tengeneza ma workshops where vijana wanaweza jiinua you know But otherwise hizi vitu zingine zote mnafanya ni propaganda zimeganda proper you know I, I don't advocate for that So what is your opinion of the current state of Kenyan politics? Current state of Kenyan politics. Yes. One, this is my own my own self opinion, eh? Yes. Uh I do not intend to hurt anyone's feeling. But one, baba acha kutupima. 
change strategy ruto wacha ku hustle ma hustle usituchoche tunawajua we know you guys you know and a leader we know na kitu moja najua a leader is not supposed to give us money or handouts mm. a leader is supposed to give us hope where is the hope you guys ain't giving us any hope mm. there's no hope at all unaona current situation it's a beef umeleta beef yenu sasa nyasi ndio zinaumia fali wawili wanapigana nyasi zinaumia when we go for for demonstrations the economy is affected you know when his excellency mr president fails to acknowledge and fulfill his promises mm. the people are suffering you know so the two of these giants need to sit down and discuss on how wanaweza endelesha Kenya mbele na baba kama unataka bei unga ipande kuja na proposal wachana na story ya demonstration andika proposal lenye hata kama ni ya farming pelekea gava wakikataa kufund tuambie sasa tutaenda streets kuja na proposal sema ni aje wananchi mimi niko na hii proposal yeke publicly kila mtu asome ikuwe kitu inaweza eleweka then tutaipush pamoja but not using the people to push your own agenda i'm sorry to say that uh, na honorable gashagwa we love you but also punguza asira currently we don't have real leaders until sijui nitasemaje we just need a revolution in this country so no, no. in all this what is the place of the citizens what is their what are they supposed to do in order to make a change other than just depending on the politicians one change begins with oneself mm. as a citizen or as citizens mm. we first of all need to care about jirani yako mwenyako kando yako kwanza mm. kabisa 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 your next door neighbor that sh- that is where you should start mm. unaona once to na- you can care about your next door neighbor trust me na your next door neighbor ke kusu mwingine na mwingine na mwingine trust me will become a very powerful country mm. that way hakuna mtu atalala nja na hakuna mtu atalia shida because together we are stronger you know and then another thing as citizens kuna hiki tulifanyika hii inchi watu walikataa kusikia serikali kabisa mm. wakasema and they demonstrated but peacefully hakuna mwenye alienda kazi hakuna mm. mwenye alibai kitu yote nothing happened the whole country was still i don't know whether it was it egypt or somewhere i can't remember but there is this country that I uh, had that experience and after that the country really transformed unaona mm. pia sisi tunafaa kuamua si ati tuamue ati venye baba anasema boycott safari kom boycott airtel no ceo mm. ati msikule mkate ceo no ni tukae chini tuseme sisi kama wananchi serikali tunataka mtusikize siku fulani hatutaenda hata ku demonstrate kupiga kelele but hakuna biashara itafunguliwa Kenya muzi Mm-hmm. tutakaa njaa wacha tu starve unaona wacha tu starve si mnataka tuteseke tu wacha tu starve mpaka siku ile mtatusikiza you know tunajua vitu zingine zinahitaji damu jasho na macho Machozi. na machozi unaona na hizo zikuji rahisi in order for real change to occur there must be real revolution mm-hmm. and the revolution will not be televised like what we are seeing today mm-hmm. yeah so <clears throat> thank you so much for this conversation that is very inspiring thank very you. informative thank you and one that somebody who listens to you and watches what you say yeah. will find that there is some sense in it yeah. so for the case of those people let's say they are seeing you here for the first time yes how do they get to see your works or how do they reach you you can reach me on facebook sugu vudu sugu vudu vudu with v u d u uh sugu vudu king you can reach me you can reach out to me on youtube you can check out my work on youtube suguvudu king instagram suguvudu king uh twitter suguvudu king all the platforms mm. i'm available in all the platforms uh, i have a, i have a website but it's currently down hopefully it will be back soon uh it's www.suguvudu mm. so you'll also be able to reach me out through that what is your last remarks my last remarks yeah that's that's, that's always very powerful that eh? mm. aha uh-huh. <laughs> my last remarks ni wake up and smell the coffee mm. realize 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 and learn to read books 
So go thank you so much for granting us this opportunity. It, it is an opportunity that I have been longing to have because I tried reaching out to you uh, some months ago yeah. but because you are a busy person yeah. it wasn't possible. But I'm very happy that it has happened at this moment in time because it comes at a time when you've spoken about things that are happening in this country yeah. and you've also given solutions that if taken into consideration can actually change lives especially within the informal sectors yeah yeah so thank you so much and uh, awesome. for those people that have not interacted with his music kindly drop on his youtube page which i will also put down in the link kindly subscribe and like his work 